And now a lot of you are interested in my Super 8 digital cartridge project, and I'm sorry I haven't had much to show you over the last month. The good news is they've made some progress with it, I've experimented with a few things, and I've even got some very shaky footage to show you. Hi, my name's Jenny List, and it's time for another exciting instalment of What's on Jenny's Bench. If you watched the previous episode, you'll have seen that I had a cartridge with the sensor from a Raspberry Pi camera mounted up against the metal film gate side of the a Super 8 camera. I could never get this to work properly, I could never get it into focus, and I now understand why. The film in a real Super 8 cartridge goes right up against this metal plate here, and I could never get that quite into the same focal plane, because the sensor for the Raspberry Pi camera is like a little glass box, with the sensor is a silicon chip at the back of it. And so the light always has to pass through about a millimeter of glass. Now, to get the sensor into the focal plane, I would have to remove this, the metal half of the Super 8 film gate. Now, there are various other projects on YouTube that have done just that, and that's how they've made their ones work. My absolute line in the sand for this project is it's got to work with an unmodified Super 8 camera. It's one thing to take some near worthless broken Super 8 camera from a second hand store and remove the film gate but there are some actually some very expensive Super 8 cameras owned by collectors and filmmakers out there who would not want to modify their cameras so I have to come up with a way that doesn't involve trying to put a Raspberry Pi sensor in the focal plane of the camera. So my first thing was to try this was to take my cartridge and to stick a piece of tape across, white tape across the front to simulate the real film. So this piece of tape would have sat in the focal plane exactly where the film would on a real cartridge. And the idea was then I'd put a, cam a camera behind it in the dark and it would catch an image as though it were sort of filming a projector screen. I tried it, it works. The trouble is so little light gets through the paper that you need a very sensitive camera and your resolution, to be honest, is awful. Um, I'm sure it would be possible to do it if I had a, a finely ground glass screen or something like that. But the fact is, I think I can do a better job by different means. And what I came up with was this. Now, this is a Chinese ear camera. If you've read Hackaday for years, you'll have seen me talk about these. I use this one as a bench microscope because it does brilliant uh, photographs of the inside of my ear. But what it actually can do is it can zoom in very close on tiny electronic components. These things cost about $10 from AliExpress and they're incredibly useful microscopic cameras. But they also have a feature that makes it very suitable for this task. They the focus is very close. Now I could take a Raspberry Pi camera and twiddle the focus and try and get it right. This one already is supplied with a close in focus. And so if you take a cartridge, I have produced a new uh, front piece. I used to have a mounting for the Raspberry Pi camera module sensor there. Now I've tried to create, I've created a, an analog of the pressure plate in a standard Super 8 film cartridge. I've created a window for the, basically where the image is projected. And in this one, I've laser cut a little piece of Perspex and put it in the hole. Now, I haven't fully decided on what form this is gonna take this side, so it's just got sort of two wings. I can put a Raspberry Pi camera in there or I can come up with another mounting, take the camera out of one of these, it's a tiny little module, and come up with another mounting for it. But the idea is I get a close-up camera and I literally stick it about here and it simply focuses the light that's coming through, refocuses it onto its own sensor. And it's a very rough and ready trial, but I did just that. I had the camera running, I pointed it at my same uh, Tux plushie and uh, Club Marta bottle and I held the camera something like this and I got an image uh, and 
it's obviously not a very good image because it's just me holding it but you can see it focuses in very clearly on the tux and I'm I'm waving my hand and you can see it so that's it I think I've cracked it I need a close-up camera mounted in the optical path and I need to have it in the position where it focuses perfectly I think I can do that I'm going to try it from two starts. I am going to try taking one of the Pi cameras and focusing it in close. But I am also, I've got one of these, a high resolution one on order. This one is a 640 by 480. You get into the sort of $15 ballpark and you're into 1024 by 768, which is nominally high definition. Uh, and I've got one of those on order and I'm going to try it and see what happens. But for those of you who wanted a progress update on the Super 8 digital cartridge, here we are. The original approach didn't quite work, and I don't think it's going to work without modifying the camera. But I have a way forward, and I think I'm going to make a useful cartridge. I don't have a sponsor for my videos, but as before, I'd like to take this moment to talk about something else I'm involved with away from my career writing about tech. I am a board member of a small non-profit called Trans Rescue. We get trans people like me out of dodgy and dangerous places around the world. I'd like you to go to our website, read our blog and see what we're up to, and if you can, help us in our work. Thanks very much and thank you for watching this video.